Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential problem, which is 2 to the power of 2x plus 2 to the power of 4x, this is equal to 20. So what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0? So let's provide the solution from here. Now, we have 2 to the power of 2x, then plus 2 to the power of 4x, this is equal to 20 from here. Now, we have that 2 to the power of 2x plus 2, we can express 4x here. This is the same thing as 2 to the power of 2x raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 20 from here. The next step is that 2 to the power of 2x raised to the power of 2, we find that this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to the power m, which can also be expressed as a to the power of n times m. But now from here, we have 2 to the power of 2x here and 2 to the power of 2x here. So we can let 2 to the power of 2x be equal to k. Let's substitute k here so that now we have k plus k squared, this is equal to 20. The next step from here, let's take k on the left hand side, so that now we have k squared plus k minus 20, this is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation of the form ak squared plus bk plus c, this is equal to 0. So this quadratic equation, we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, and that c is equal to minus 20. So we can solve this quadratic equation by factorization, such so that now we have the product here. The product is minus 20, and we have the sum is equal to 1. So this implies that we identify two factors. Let's identify two factors. And these factors, are uh, we have 5 and minus 4. Such so that if you say 5k, we have 5k plus minus 4k. This is the same thing as k. Substituting this back to the equation, then this implies we have k squared plus 5k subtract 4k, then subtract 20, this is equal to 0. So this implies from here that we have two parts here. This is the first part and this is the second part. From the first part here, k is common. We can factor out k so that we have k into the parentheses. This is k plus 5. Now here we have two parts here. We have k squared plus 5k. This is the first part. And we have 4k minus 20. This is actually the second part. From the first part here, we can factor out k so that now we have k into the parentheses. This is k plus 5. Then subtract 4 is common here. We can factor out 4 so that now here we have k plus 5. This is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. We have that k plus 5 is common here. So we can factor out k plus 5, so that now here we have k minus 4, this is equal to 0. So this implies that we have two parts here, we have that k plus 5, this is equal to 0, and we have that k minus 4, this is equal to 0. From the first part here, k1 is equal to minus 5. From the second part here, we have that k2 is equal to 4. So the next step is that if you recall from here, we end that we let 2 to the power of 2x be equal to k. So let's start with the first k here, which is minus 5. So 2 to the power of 2x, this is equal to minus 5. So we have that 2 to the power of 2x, this essentially is supposed to give us a positive value from here. 
and if you check on the right hand side here we have a minor that is a negative value so this means that if we we cannot proceed to solve for x because here we'll have undefined results this is undefined results so that now from the second part here we have that k2 is equal to 4 and given that we have that 2 to the power of 2x this is equal to 4 so this implies that we can express 4 as 2 to the power of 2 so substituting this we have 2 to the power of 2x this is equal to 2 to the power of 2 since the bases are common here that is a to the power of n this is equal to a to the power of m since the bases are common here then we find that exponent n is equal to m and this implies that here we have that 2x is equal to 2 and therefore to solve for x here let's divide both signs by 2 so that now the value of x is equal to 1 so we have the value of x equal to 1 so the next step from here is to verify so let's verify that this value of x satisfies the equation so now if you recall again we have that 2 to the power of 2x then plus 2 to the power of 4x this is supposed to give us a value of 20. let's substitute x which is 1 so that we have 2 to the power of 2 times 1 then plus 2 to the power of 4 times 1 this should give us a value of 20. so this is 2 raised to power 2 times 1 is 2 so 2 to raised to power 2 this is 4 then plus 2 to power 4 this is equal to 16 this is supposed to give us a value of 20 from here 16 plus 4 this is equal to 20 and this is equal to 20. so this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this implies that x which is equal to 1 satisfies the equation so kindly follow the steps like this video and more importantly subscribe like this video and subscribe see you in the next video